As with many things, I find that some of the best ideas come from one place, Reddit. And AI is no exception, but there's also a lot of garbage AI content out there. So today you're gonna sift through only the best with me, Reddit to the rescue. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today, we are talking all about AI, as I often do on this channel, but we are honing in on ideas that I have found from Reddit. I love Reddit. ChatGPT can be so many things to the point where it's actually kind of overwhelming. So I love hearing accounts from others for inspiration that can fuel my own business and content. So let's hop over and take a look together. First things first, for today's demo, I will be using ChatGPT Plus. This is something that I pay for. It gives me access to GPT-4, which I have found to be better than GPT-3.5. That's what's available on the free plan. So certainly you can try out some of the prompts and the examples that I explore on either their plan, just note that the paid subscription to ChatGPT will give you access to browsing. So giving ChatGPT the ability to connect to the internet, that's a newer feature. I definitely find that useful. On that note, I generally try to become too dependent on connecting to the internet to use ChatGPT. In this case, and it has happened several times for me, that it encounters challenges connecting to the internet, which I find frustrating. And sometimes if I really need that for my video, I will re-prompt and really make sure that it's connecting to the internet for the latest information. But in this case, and many cases, I find that a combination of what exists in ChatGPT paired with human abilities often results in the best outcome. I like that it gave me a handful of subreddits to check out. And in fact, one of the best ones that I found today that I'll share shortly came from this one. Threads I'm going to avoid for this video are ones like this, where it's very clear that ChatGPT just came up with a hundred items that someone prompted it for. This is okay, I guess, but we'd have to sit here and go through it. And it's just not really as curated and having the human touch that I want for this video. So we're gonna skip it. Now this thread is definitely more along the lines of what I'm looking for. And I find that here with the post that has the most upvotes is something I can relate to as well. This creator saying they love ChatGPT for summarizing the main point of a paragraph in just a few sentences. I do think ChatGPT is exceptional at taking lots of text and distilling it down into a few sentences. Whether it's pointing out the meaning of something in just a few sentences, or even for me, I use ChatGPT occasionally to help condense a sentence into a few words for let's say a social media post or even an ad that has a character limit. And one of the things I love about Reddit for this particular video and exercise is that the ability to upvote and downvote ideas shows that this is something that is resonating with other people. This particular example of usage has over 700 comments. Obviously I'll link to this thread in the description below. Let's actually copy this paragraph for example. And I'll hop over to ChatGPT and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it to summarize the text I'm about to paste into one or two sentences maximum. And then I'll paste the text just to show you this in action. Again, taking lots of text, in this case, not a ton, it's just an example, and having ChatGPT synthesize that information succinctly, this is very powerful for marketing, for content creation, and lots of other uses. Back over on the thread, I do wanna point out something that this author added to their post. If you try to fit large amounts of text into ChatGPT, you will get an error. That's definitely one of its weaknesses right now. I find myself hitting the limit and having to actually break it up into multiple chunks. The author said, in this case, it's only certain parts of a video or a transcript that need to be summarized, and that's definitely the best approach. Moving on to another example, this user is calling this the prompt for all prompts. So we're gonna copy it and try it out for ourselves. Apparently over a thousand people agree. You can obviously go deep into the subreddits and the comments here. There is someone that's giving a self-improved result, but let's hop over to ChatGPT and check it out. The prompt here is, I want you to become my prompt engineer. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for my needs. Interesting idea since we're always trying to think what could be the best prompt that I can enter. You can actually ask ChatGPT for that first. It says a prompt will be used here by you, ChatGPT, and you will follow the following process. One, your response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about. I will provide you with my answer, but you will need to improve it through continual iterations by going through the next step. Step two, based on my input, you will generate two sections, a revised prompt and questions. Just fixing the formatting a little bit here so you'll be able to read it. Three, we will continue this iterative process with me providing additional information. Let's go ahead and try this out. By the way, I'll paste this prompt in the comments below and I'll pin it so that you can try it yourself. 
So first ChatGPT will ask us, like we told it to, what should the prompt be about? In this case, let's say we're looking for a title for this YouTube video that I'm recording and posting for you. So we'll give that as its input. Note that by giving the numbered structure, very specific instructions on what we want, this is the output that you're getting. Remember with ChatGPT, your output is only as good as your input. And so I really love about this example prompt, how this is structured. We often think the responsibility or the onus is on us to come up with the perfect prompt, but we forget that actually ChatGPT can help with that as well. Here we're seeing a great revised prompt. I like this one. And it will go on to ask us questions about that, which is going to give us a better final result. By the way, if you go ahead and try this prompt, let me know in the comments what you try and if it is successful. I'm very curious to know, but this I think is an excellent prompt worth trying. A few comments from people looking for examples as well, saying that this works well. And one other person says, well, you have to stick it out. It does seem like it goes on forever, but it does design a really good prompt. And that's something also worth pointing out is that sometimes a prompt is gonna take time to craft particularly as you're getting input. There's so much good stuff here, not just in the post, but also in the comments. Here's another one. Try this. What is a concise one page summary of the key concepts, context and implications of? That's another good one to try. And this thread goes on and on and on with lots of great ideas. I pointed out a few of my favorites, but this is definitely, if it's something you're interested in, this is a great place to go. This is my favorite thread so far with practical advice that you can adapt for marketing, content, social, and more. One other thread that is less tied specifically to marketing, but one that I wanted to point out because it's actually a personal use of ChatGPT for me, and I can't be the only one with almost 8,000 upvotes, is using it for recipes. I don't quite use it in this particular example, but I definitely use it by feeding in some of the ingredients I have in my cabinets or in my fridge. This particular example would need connection to the internet, so ChatGPT4 on a paid plan, but essentially it's feeding the link to a specific recipe and asking it to distill it down to exact Exactly those ingredients and steps, which as we all know, can be sometimes hard to track down on a blogger's website as they interweave lots of photos and stories, because after all, that's their business. Now, given that I have lots of clients that are food bloggers, I generally try to avoid doing this on specific recipes by bloggers who've worked hard to create them. But again, as a way to distill down a concept, including a recipe into actionable steps, it can be really useful. And this thread, which I'll link to in the description below, goes on to explore some other creative uses like writing songs, poetry, and other creative examples. Finally, the idea that ChatGPT can connect to the internet, this is relatively new. When it first came out, it could not, and it was dependent on what it was, and it was dependent on the knowledge that it had when it was trained. So as mentioned, you can connect it to the internet using ChatGPT4, or you can use this free plugin called Web ChatGPT, which gives ChatGPT internet access. And it's not something that you have to pay for separately. I talk a lot about this plugin when I'm giving presentations. I also love that you can toggle quickly between ChatGPT, Claude, Bard, and Bing. So definitely one to check out as you explore these ideas from Reddit that you want to try in ChatGPT for yourself. I have linked to some of the useful stuff related to what we've covered today in this video. Go ahead, check it out in the description below. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below as well as keep the conversation going on down there. Respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next time, sharing a few videos that I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching those. Coming up next.